I've found that certainly in my life and my career, the in engineering education has helped me to focus on solutions. You have to rely on the expertise and the input and the creative ideas of others. And that served me really well throughout my career. I've fortunately been part of really amazing teams. And I know I credit that to my engineering education, knowing how to uh, you know, build a good team and how to be a team player myself. My research is uh, focused on uh, children with severe disabilities. So I think what I'm really proud of is that we've built an entire program of research, um, you know, where we've built a lot of evidence, we've got a lot of media coverage, and we've created a lot of um, solutions, a lot of products uh, for these kids. Um, and it's been a hard area to fund. It's a continuous cycle of asking. And sometimes I tell people my, my job is a professional beggar, you know, and I have no shame. I go, I go through many sets of knee pads and, you know, you can slap me around, I'll just ask the next person, it doesn't matter, right? So, you know, there are, there are kids who have never communicated in their lives um, and with the work of our lab have been able to, you know, express their own feelings, participate in school, you know, talk to the parents for the very first time. And in, in 2017, I believe there's really no reason why, you know, there are still children and youth and, and adults for that matter who don't have a means of directing their own care, who don't have a means of expressing their own preference. At the end of the day, communication is truly a fundamental human right.